Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are playing on LZ Alpha, where we have five duplicates trying to make their way through the arboreal game setting, but we do actually have extra metals in the world tweaks. I don't know what we actually want to call the world modifiers there. I'm going to call them world tweaks. Uh, essentially changing this no metals playthrough into a mixed playthrough. Last time we started one of our first organic processes underway you can see up here we have a hatch that we're going to be using to create coal the coal will then produce power as well as carbon dioxide and down here we have a bunch of slicks which we're going to use to create oil uh, from there we need to find another way of warming that oil up to turn it into petrol and then we can use that to also power some stuff I'm actually thinking of using it as one of my first major uh, heat dumps in the game. I've also noticed that over here, because those are different priorities to over here, we keep getting uh, massive holes being knocked through. Uh, so I'm just going to seal that up and keep this going. Of course, the other half of our carbon dioxide strategy at the moment are to use these oxy ferns to eat up as much carbon dioxide as the duplicates produce. The slicks are, of course, consuming a lot more carbon dioxide, enough, in fact, to do one coal generator per slick or indeed a natural gas generator per slick and the natural gas generators are kind of the thing that I want to focus on today because whilst we do have a carbon dioxide uh, strategy figured out we're actually consuming the carbon dioxide over here and producing oil not producing uh, oxygen like we have over this side and the uh, slow drain of pressure is starting to show itself in the base so we need to start working out a way of producing more water and actually the quickest way of doing that other than the bathroom itself is to use the natural gas that comes out of here and of course the natural gas generator produces carbon dioxide and uh, polluted water which we can clean up and use as regular water free of germs and uh, not too bad a temperature that we're gonna have to think about some sort of cool system. Have a look in the research, we are very close to having the incubator done. I want to have an incubator in each of the uh, hatcheries, the stables, uh, so that we can keep the number of population up uh, nice and high. If I come over to our egg cracker and say that I want every single uh, hatch egg to always be destroyed, uh, we could then put the priority of the incubator at a slightly higher uh, priority, thus the eggs will first go into the incubator, then all the rest will be broken, so that we can make some lime and then there'll be like a future store for steel because of course in one of my last playthroughs this is what held us up for like five episodes this might become something of a problem i've gone ahead and put some extra vents in the floor but we really need to address the oxygen system here now i can put a diffuser down uh, because whilst this is a very temporary solution uh, let me just throw some wiring in quick we do have a certain amount of algae lying around so we can definitely go ahead and make a use of it just to tide us through until we actually need uh, to make a more viable system as i say with some of the wastewater i think it's definitely time to start thinking about what we're going to be doing with all the polluted uh, oxygen, uh, polluted water. Sorry, if I press the uh, R for the research, well, I definitely need to come down towards the distillation and make that a thing. The water sieve, of course, being one of the most vital components in any water recycling system. All right, the animal control research is complete. First thing we're going to do, of course, is come down and do the water sieve. I think that's probably the one we're going to go for. Uh, and then after that, of course, we'll be looking into the fossil fuels. But with the water sieve, we can then get started on the toilets which i think is going to be quite a handy uh, com uh, handy component into our water facilities okay the incubator requires refined metals don't have any of those at the moment but we will definitely get on that pretty quickly kind of really wide that incubator looking at this it's going to take us about 16 cycles for any of these eggs to hatch kind of wanted them a lot quicker than that research for the liquid and the gas filter have dropped in whilst we've been on our way to the filtration systems for the water sieve so as we're essentially waiting 15 days for the critters to hatch before we can boot that bit up, I've let Mad Frank and Miss Line have access through the door over here. Not only do I want to get down to the natural gas geysers at some point, but also I would like them really to come digging down here. Maybe we can find another slick or something, uh, another slickster, sorry, something to uh, actually like move around a live one. That would be great as we now have all the ways of catching stuff. Maybe, maybe when we get some plastics. Okay, okay, I think we're going to speed up the process greatly. If I just come over here and do some rock crushing, 
Uh, we should be able to then get the resources for the crea trap and the incubator and uh, speed up all the processes over here if we can. Save uh, these guys having to dig all the way down. Though I would expect at some point that's going to happen anyway because we need a more steady supply of oil and we're, for that we will definitely need an oil geyser. Well, the first of the dirty water is being pumped in here. That probably means all this is going to just be lost about for now. That's no problem. Just going to do a quick temperature check. 43 is not too bad. What are we putting it in at? 20 something uh, that should be a uh, climbing pretty quickly because there's nothing quite like water for having a nice high thermal conductivity uh, I trust it to be one point off just one point uh, also expanding my storage up here because we're nearly full over here this is the only two that we've got a li little bit of space in and as you can see there is a whole lot of stuff to pick up from the floors still so uh, yeah definitely clearing out a lot more room for that I don't think anybody had a good time overnight sleeping in all of that carbon dioxide I've put the priority of this oxygen diffuser up so hopefully someone will get to it during these morning runarounds uh, the our life support should be fairly high on someone's priority let's, let's actually have a look in here do we have life support support on here we do but is anybody looking after it not the moment let's make life support everybody's concern okay there we go that was nice and quick missile line coming along and doing the do now hopefully there we go we're getting some higher pressure oxygen coming out there i'm not sure whether the one will be enough uh, 500 grams per second that's going to be quite a lot for during a day is it enough for all the duplicates that i've got I don't know, we'll have to find out by the end of the day, right? We'll check the uh, the colony reports. Oh, they sneaked it in without me realising. Okay, let's go to the refinement. I want to do the rock granulizer. Uh, I'm also going to pop this down here, but this is by no means a final placement. Does that just get placed like that? Cool. This is just a, a temporary one until we get a more permanent uh refinement process underway man this this uh power system is starting to look pretty bad hopefully this one will start doing its thing very shortly okay here we go literally as we go and have a look some coal has been delivered beautiful beautiful hopefully this will just fill up the batteries now do i need an overflow battery is that something that will like eat what gets spent uh what gets overflowed if you see what i'm saying uh and then doesn't waste the top end of the thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I need to figure out what's going on with the actual batteries. There's a whole bunch of new stuff that came out uh, that I don't actually have access to, but I don't know how it works in any way. Mm, this might be a bad idea. I've given everyone access to the outside world again, but I'm not sure where Luna's off to here. Maybe going to get some of this rust? I, d I don't know. Why would you come for a wander this way? Also, look at this squeaky pufflet. Oh, that's, that's cute. What? Seeds? Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, this is what I meant about the overrun battery. If I had a battery here, this would just carry on filling up until this had uh, run out, and then they wouldn't wouldn't overfill it again. It'd be like a movable top end to the number here, if you will. Where is it? If I click on this, a movable top end to what can be stored. All right, Rock Crusher. Brilliant. This is what we're after. Let, yeah, let's go straight to aluminium. Uh, we want, so it's going to give us 50. We want at least 200 for an incubator. Let's go for uh, 812. Let's go with that and let's see who uses them. I'm no, I don't want to be like, oh, I'll always make it, carry on forever, because at some point I'm going to want to move this. But who's on doing stuff right now we're waiting for forest he's doing the research so i suppose that is okay he's not doing the research where is forest right now ah he's doing the power that's also important all right it keeps telling me we've got new skills let's move everybody up to the end of their line super hard digging that, that that's things like uh diamond and the other one that I can't remember the name of. As we do know from last episode, though, if you go to the someone who doesn't have the skill, you can go and highlight the skill to find out exactly what it was. Diamond and Obsidian. That means we can uncover that geyser down the bottom. That'll be very interesting. Improved construction. Doesn't actually tell me what we're going to get. More morale bonuses and stuff like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's also give you a better hat. Because it's all about that fancy hat. Moving up the research. The astronomy. Maybe actually going a little bit too far ahead on the uh, research branch there maybe, maybe we could have given him something else maybe something on the operate line but you know that's where we are right now so we've done the tidying i think the next thing maybe is the supplying uh, though luna does also let, let's let's let luna follow her creative instincts let's go with that beautiful beautiful and decipher a little bit slow on the learning okay misaligned's got a new hat let's come down this way and be like hey this is the super important stuff that I want you to deal with. Let's let's see if that happens. Oh, of course, downtime, everybody's hungry. Cheers. <laughs> oh, look, our hatch has laid a first egg. Beautiful, beautiful, uh, incubating itself at the same rate as down below. Okay, cool. 
What is Mad Frank up to? He's just come running. To oh, he's after the algae. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so the next day is coming on strong. I really wish they'd uh, clean up the toilets. It seems to be the one place that they're not looking at and working for the work errands to go ahead. Well, yeah, still waiting for people to come and play with them. I have sorted out a bit of a grill over here because we're starting to build up eggs down below. And you know what? I think it would be nice if we could like make people some food. That would be pretty good. All right, Decipher taking out his aggression on the rock granulator there. All right, looking good, looking good. We're going to have to do four of those before we can even begin making the incubator down here. But I'm wondering whether it will give me the chance to just click on it. Not yet. Soon, though. Soon. Spend the majority of the day sat here watching Decipher run back and forth and doing stuff and watching Forrest uh, mainly doing the power. But he managed to get to the point where he topped out the batteries and then suddenly at the end we have a situation where the batteries are empty. Which, uh, unfortunately, this is the last one we need to be able to actually get on with the incubator work over here. But it looks like Forrest is going to start doing the power again. That's pretty cool. But Decipher, for some reason, well, I, I can understand why it's going on. But every time he finishes with the rock granulizer, there'll be another job so somewhere over here to do before doing the next step in the rock granulizing like making the delivery or doing the actual uh, crushing of the materials so it for every every job that we've been doing two basically and i suppose that's okay but it has taken the majority of the day to even get close to four the entire process is done okay that's now the incubator ready to go i'm gonna move it down here i'm gonna pop it on the side uh, and then i'm gonna get some power out because i do believe yeah this needs to run down here and into that i'm gonna go hey hi priority guys please like just chop chop let's get to it uh is that downtime not quite not quite hopefully this will now become the highest priority for everybody and people will just get on with it though i'm not sure where everybody else is located oh look oh look things are starting to get uncovered over here let's do that okay miss aligned off to do the business let's see if she's gonna go straight down there we could look a little bit ahead and see what the priority are but yes this is what we're looking for right here i want to know what we've got behind it ideally we're looking for like a slush geyser or something like that but i've got a feeling this is going to be something i don't know uh chlorine maybe carbon dioxide carbon dioxide would be one of the more awkward ones uh if we could just um oh a salt water geyser ah never played with one of these before it's doing stuff right now we could put some uh, mesh tiles over here well we were looking for water systems and water systems have been found kiln is not quite let's come into here uh, in fact is the thing that we're working on in here no oh, that's, that's a bit of a shame there it is desalinator that's what we're going to need i wonder how much it produces i will look into that but first we're still very much working towards the water system doesn't tell me what happens when it freezes. When brine freezes, what happens? We get some brine ice. Okay, minus two. Okay, that's that's something we can use. That's something we can use. I'm not sure how exactly yet, but we will use it. Okay, it took a while to get here, but get here we have. Lava air, continuous, incubate, do it. Let's let's get these guys out of here. Hopefully we can then do this. I've started digging out a little bit of an area around. I realized I was dropping the egg down, so I was like, stop! And now hopefully we can dig in this way and get access to the lava. That would be amazing if we could. Hopefully someone, maybe Decipher, is going to come along and take care of that. In fact, is there in here, Erin? Oh, Luna is currently on it. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what happens with this. I'm wondering if we now want to up the priority of this particular tile. Maybe not until we actually gain access to where we're trying to go. That, that would probably be better. Okay, how long is this going to take now? It still says five per cycle. What? Okay, so duplicates must come along and do this. Decipher totally on the way at some point. Trying to breathe. Ugh, what? Okay, Decipher seems to have got over the inefficiencies of the biological design. And let's see what he's going to do here. He literally is just hugging the box. Is, is that... Like, I could have hugged the box. That's That doesn't take that much to do. Okay, so now that that is a thing, let's go back to the status. Let's click on the egg. Let's see if that's put it up. Yes, it has. 25 per cycle. Beautiful, beautiful. That is exactly what we're after. Big numbers. Big numbers. Ah, uh, glitched out. He just built this tile. Jumped down to build this, but then got, like, pushed up. And you can see how he's doing it over such distance. I don't know. Well, I mean, that is obviously a bug, but I don't know if that's a reportable bug. But what would the expected outcome be? He gets pushed away but doesn't complete the job? I think probably. Okay, we've got the water sieve in. I'm just going to go straight up to getting up that desalinator because I think having a serious water solution would be much better than trying to like siphon stuff off over here i'm still gonna try and siphon stuff over here i think my uh, idea is to have some slicksters underneath to convert the carbon dioxide into 
uh, oxid into sorry oil and then siphon off the polluted water to clean and have as a hot water source I'm not sure what we would need the hot water for but hot water is normally useful somewhere uh, if nothing else just for pincher peppers Oh, we could also take the temperature from the hot water over here and then run it through uh, one of the HVACs. Do we have the utilities here? Uh, if I go and look into the research and use this uh, thermo aqua tuner, put that in the oil and pump the hot water through it. It will take the heat out of the water and put it into the oil. The oil will then warm up into petroleum, which I could then use to power the base. So that's, that, that's power, that's ideas. We'll see what we can do with it though. Okay, okay, I don't think we want this one here anymore let's turn that off no 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 i want that off thanks very much uh, and i'm going to mop up all this liquid here too many liquids that's fine uh what i want to do is make another place over here where we're going to go plumbing we'll get the liquid pump out uh just dump it on there we're going to liquid bridge up a little bit and then we're going to go to the refiner water sieve beautiful can we turn that around oh we can that's nice uh so i'm going to put that here plenty of space right plenty of space and then we just uh, get that to throw our water over here where it warms up right that that's the plan that's the plan we want to rip this one down as i say and build it up on the other side that shouldn't be too difficult uh, just kind of do this this will need something to stand on oh yeah okay so it, it's going to be a little bit more awkward than i thought uh not by a great deal though because we just need to move stuff over by one block okay i had a small problem of running out of power here Are we still at the 25 percent cycle rate though so that's not too much a problem hopefully someone will come along like forest at some point and fix this situation what is forest up to right now hopefully he's researching so that's going to take a little bit of time until he's actually ready but someone will come along at some point and do that the uh, system down here is coming along nicely just waiting for them to actually build everything it does tend to take a little bit of time uh particularly when for some reason they like to spread their jobs out but you know that that's fine and that's fine these guys are uh, i'm sure they are more than capable to sort out their own des destinies to uh, lead themselves into the future in the best possible manner Okay, I thought someone would be along to do this, but uh, it's been some time now. So if I bump it up to a nine, you can see that Decipher might end up doing it pretty soon. That that would be pretty cool. Uh, it would be nice if it recognised that we were looking at this and then decided to bump it up just a little bit. Oh, hello, we got a new blueprint to choose from. Care package. I will take some water, thanks. Okay, I bumped up the priority and both Decipher and Forest are on their way. This is, of course, because the power has run, up, run out over on this side. But we should be looking to make our way over... To, down, no, down... To the, no! Oh, here we go, we're going to do this quick. <laughs> okay, four separate errands to deliver. Though I see mostly Decipher and Misaligned on those, so I'm not sure whether all four are going to get done. But we'll, we'll hope, we'll pray... Well, I mean, I'm not going to pray. I mean, I am the person that you would pray to in this particular scenario. So I'm not I'm not sure what good that would do us there. Okay, coal has been delivered. That's pretty cool. Uh, as soon as these two other people, Forrest and Luna, have done that. No, no, they're just running. All right, let's, let's drop it down to a nine and let them get back to it later. Maybe I should let some pressure through somewhere. But honestly, those shine bugs are going to keep everyone awake. So I'm not up for that. Okay, the bottle of emptier here. I've turned on polluted water and I have enabled auto bottling. I'm going to turn that right up. That should uh, make it so they... Oh, oh, good. Oh, I thought Mad Frank was going to come along and show us here. Uh, it should make it that these can be immediately pumped out. No one wants to do it, though. That's a bit of a shame because we need to get that water out of there. Oh no, oh no, we've got an error, we've got an error. Let's just quickly fill in that corner. Oh, that's that's going to be a little bad because, of course, this is polluted water is in, like, in both senses. I don't think this chlorine is actually going to do any good for that, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, that, that, that's big problems there. We, uh, we should be still far enough in the day that it's not too much of a hassle for someone to come along and do this. Let's have a look at the errands. No one's actually doing it, but oh, it's part of the Cypher's other stuff. That's cool. Let's see how it goes down here. Big builds are a building uh decipher feeling the heat because obviously in the water the conductivity is quite high oh, all that pour out is terrible where's where, where are people to do this where are people mad frank number eight. Oh, come on but i suppose he's got all sorts of other problems elsewhere yeah look he's putting the power lines in over there and that i did i really want them to concentrate on oh no wait don't do this wait <laughs> People are not treating this seriously enough. We have got a polluted water spill. There are germs everywhere. And they're all just like, nah, I'm going to walk off over that way. Yeah, everyone get down the dirty hole. Come on. Everybody's got to pull their weight here. There we go. These are the tiles we need built. 
Thank you very much. Wow. It's, it's, I don't know. Sometimes the workforce just seems to have their heads in the clouds thinking about super things like, wait a minute, like where to go to the toilet and when to eat. Uh, it's, it's not how we work here. It's not how we work. Please, please stop doing that. Okay, apart from this insistent need to breathe, doing much better. Doing much better. Into day 32, we've got almost exactly a day left on the incubation of this particular egg, and it'll be nice to see it producing the, uh, the polluted, uh, not the polluted, the uh, oil when it actually gets around to doing so. Last piece of wire needed until the whole si Oh no, it's not the whole system, is it? Look, I need to do this as well. We go. Da -da -da -da. Of course, that needs to happen before we, the whole thing works. Missile line coming along to make the deliveries, though, so that is pretty cool. Well, hopefully the other ones are also going to work. We're going to get some sieves working along uh, nicely. I wonder who is going to be making the delivery. Let's have a look. We click on the errands. No one. No one's making the delivery. Um, mad friend. I don't, I, I don't know, but I don't think that's really the best place to be hanging out. You don't seem to have suffered any of the worst for it, though. Germs. Let's have a look. Food poisoning, slime lung. Zombie sports, where's this come? Oh, oh, it's happened, the slickster's come out. Let's click the remove button. Oh, beautiful. Now I'm hoping we can just watch this guy do his uh, thing. Uh, is there somewhere of looking? Critter metabolism, oh, look, oh, the tiny baby here only does a little bit. Critter metabolism is 3%. That's a bit of a shame that it's so low, but it should be something we can work on. And hopefully, uh, Decipher will now be along to make the, the whole place just a little bit nicer for him. Get get a little grooming down and get, get some excretion on the go, because that's what we're here for. It's this guy's excretion. Oh, and of course, the next egg goes straight in there. This one has, of course, been incubating on its own for a little bit. So uh, only two more cycles again for that. And this one in the same position. So that's going to be nice and quick when they all finally get on in there. I really just want to see it do a little, little, little thing, you know. <laughs> Using ever so subtle methods of coercion, we've managed to move the people into making the vents working. I now really want to get this auto bottling back on the go. So if I'm going to put that up to a high priority and hopefully Luna will just come running back when the first job is done. We need to get this polluted water out of here and into there so we can pump it up. Uh, it says pump not in liquid. That's fine. Let's have a look at the actual liquid pipes. It's looking... Oh like I put it down the wrong way. Okay, turn that around, pump it down like that. This is gonna just back and forth a little bit until this gets fixed. I'm gonna also say that this is the highest priority we can do. Go, go, go. Oh no, it's not happened before downtime, but hopefully Forrest will come along and at least make the delivery, right? Errand type building and supplying. Hopefully both of them will get done and we'll just push Forrest throughout the night to get the whole job finished because like there's a whole, whole bunch of aluminium right there. Indeed, he is now creating our oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, change, change of shift here for some reason. I think Forrest ran out of oxygen, but that's okay because we're not at bedtime yet. So Mad Frank can come down and finish the job. And because Mad Frank actually has, you know, building skills and the right hat on, this should take a lot less time. Beautiful, put that on a nine now. Wait for people to bring the water over. It's unconnected because things have been moved around. So of course, that would now be all the way over there. Now, this is not the problem I ever expected to be having. My body temperature is too low. Uh, yeah, never ever thought that I would have that. That that's a thing that's quite quite cool. Uh, let's have a look. A free. Oh, it's coming in from up here. Okay. I mean that's that's not bad. It's normally the other way around. Is this, is this actually going to be an issue for me though, or is it just something that can go? Hey, that's great, and eventually it'll just get overwhelmed by the incredible heat of the base. I'm kind of expecting that second one. Uh, we we will just have to wait and see. But also down here, hey, you know this wire? Yeah, just get that done. Gentle influence and coercion, that's all it ever takes. Okay, this is looking good. Have we got the filtration medium? We haven't at the moment, but who will be bringing this for us? Oh, a whole bunch of people are gonna be bringing it for us. That is awesome. Uh, let's see where Mad Frank is in this particular situation. Oh, way over there, Decipher, just there. That's cool, Mr. Line, over that way. Everybody is bringing the stuff and we should have this beautiful little clean system. I'd also like to replicate that over here at some point, because obviously we've got all these toilets and stuff. And I think we can bring all the bad water out down here, clean it up and put it back in at the top but of course that will also be germy so maybe actually what we want to do is bring it down here and then this is the cleaning zone i don't know right now but i will get back to you about that in a bit 
Okay, using the same gentle persuasion techniques, I'm going to try and pump this polluted water out of here before we get too much pollution in the uh, the clean water. And hopefully, yeah, just like that it will go. Is it just like that, though? It looks like it might very well be. Okay, let's bring that back down there now. Beautiful, beautiful. I've disabled this building because it's probably a bad idea to have it being able to pump stuff out, right? Don't want it going in. Do we want it going into the research? What happens if it goes into the research? Hmm. Is there a way of selecting this only to go into research and then other water coming in from other places? I don't know. That that would be super useful, though, wouldn't it? Oh, that's a shame. It turns out you can't groom a baby critter. That That's a big shame. I kind of wanted to get the taming process on. Oh, look, we're very close. I thought I'd just have a quick look. We are very close. Also, we got this ru rusty oxidizer. How much rust do we have? We got 19 tons. Let's try this. It says it's going to be making chlorine as well. So let's put it into a, uh, a small little room onto its own, shall we? Looks like it might not even... Oh, it does take a little bit of power. Okay, that's fine. We put one down there. I'm going to run the power across that way. Hopefully, we're not overloading the wire at any point. Current status, we can go up to 610 with everything we've connected, and that's not doing that right now, so that's good. It looks like the temperature is working out pretty well here. Dying on liquid because it can't survive in water, and the temperature of 44 degrees is making that even faster. What about in here? Water. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is dropping down incredibly fast fast change rate is 94 second 94 a second that's that's brilliant all right this area seems to be pretty much sorted in this uh, situation anyway. ah it takes rust and salt does it i didn't know that did not explain let's put that no i don't want to put it like crank it right up i do want to do that though let's do this and see if anybody comes along because it was on uh, five the rest of the time right so when they do the delivery then it should be done pretty quickly where are the people that we are looking for all the way down there getting the rust that's okay and uh, decipher also doing the do that's cool that is cool. I'm going to watch over here and let you guys know when they get here. Oh, we got a thing as well. Let's actually go and check that first. Hey, how you doing? Choose the blueprint. What have we got? Pufflet. Yeah, go for it. That's going to make me some polluted oxygen. I am down with that. And some slime. Some clean slime, more to the point. It's not necessarily uh, slime with slime lung. In fact, it is not slime with slime lung. So that is going to be pretty useful. Okay, do we have the salt in here? Is that a thing that has gone down? Okay, Mr. Lion grabbed a bunch of salt down from the little salt pit that we've got underneath, where the Slicksters are going to be dumping the oil very shortly, in fact. Small walk up and over this way, and I think we're going to have to think about how we're... I think I'm going to have to think about... Yeah, you heard me, but uh, yeah, definitely going to have to think about how we are going to pump the stuff out of here. Because obviously, the, uh, the chlorine we don't want down here. We do not. But yeah, look at that, pumping out. Had to, had to see, had to check. Oh, looking good. The only thing left to do now before I call this episode a complete success, you know, with the cleaning of the water and the pumping of the carbon, is uh, I, I want to see some, some slick magic. I want to see some slick magic. Okay, so I'm setting up a basic filtration system here. We're going to have a gas pump and a filter, taking the oxygen up and out and dumping the oxygen in the base. But what do I do with the chlorine and the other waste gases? I'm not entirely certain. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. For now, I'm going to do my classic job of just dumping it down here. Hopefully, we don't uh, choke out the hatch. Uh, and it should be fine. We'll send all the gases down here and we'll deal with them at some point. I mean, ideally, we actually take the waste pipe out here and then we have a processing plant over this side or something. I don't know. Like I say, if anybody has an idea, let me know. Oh, oh, this this guy just dropped some crude oil, and he's the brand new one. Look, age zero. But where did it go? There it is, right underneath there. So we're waiting for these guys to come through and dig this out so we can have a little uh, pool. I, I want to see it down here. I want to see it down here. Of course, the real question I'm asking myself is how long until it's not a baby? Oh, look at these guys sleeping. Okay, three still counts as a tiny baby. Oh, a little more got squirted out on the floor. Not overly helpful there, but still useful. With the new oxygen source flowing into the base, we're going to take it on faith that this Slickster is going to eventually grow up into an adult and be able to be tamed. I'm going to put down another two mesh tiles here just to stop any uh, liquids uh, building up because, of course, when duplicates walk through, they get soggy feet, and that is a negative on the morale. I'm particularly glad about the uh, extra oxygen systems that we've put into place here and the fact that everything seems to be working away with the water recycling. I will probably see you guys next time for some toilet cleaning. I'm going to upgrade this all to the proper sanitation uh, requirements for a future civilization. But I will see you then when we're going to do that.
Bye.